In this video, we will study about reinterpret cast in C++ and we will see how is it different from other types of casts and when should we use it. So its syntax is same as other type casts, so we need to provide the new type and then expression. So this reinterpret cast allows any pointer to be converted into any other pointer. So here there is one exception, we cannot convert a const pointer to a non-const pointer. We will see that later in the video. And it also allows conversion between integer type and any pointer type and vice versa. So let's see an example. So let's say we have an integer a and it's equal to 70. And we have an integer pointer, let's say p1. And it's pointing to this integer a. And then we said that we can convert between different types of pointers. So let's say we have a character pointer pc and we do reinterpret cast on that p1 and let's print it out and run it so it prints f so we know that uh, for capital a the sky value is 65 Similarly, for B, it's 66, C, 67, and for F, it will be 70, capital F. So, it correctly converts this integer into character. So, it treats this point, takes this pointer and converts it to character pointer. Now, we said that we can convert between integer and pointers. So, let's take an example for that. Uh, we have here integer 70. And let's say we want to convert it to a pointer p2 and we do reinterpret cast and we do int star and instead of another pointer we are here passing an integer and now let's uh, print out this p2 and let's say, see what it, it prints 0x46 in hexadecimal so if we convert it to decimal, it will be 6 plus 16 times 4, which is 64. So 64 plus 6 is 70. So it correctly converts an integer to a pointer. And now let's uh, try the other way around. So let's uh, print out this same value. And this time we will do reinterpret cast and convert it to int and we will pass this p2 so p2 is an address or a pointer and we are converting it to integer and printing it so it says uh, we will lose information so let's uh, check what is the address of pointer on this system size of int star and again we will print size of int let's also print a bigger size so that we will we can use that let's say long and let's run it and let's comment out it and try again so 8 pointer has size of 8 bytes the second was in, one is integer, it is 4 bytes and third is long. So let's use the long here instead of integer. And let's remove that. So now we get back 70. So we converted an address to integer. Now let's move on. So this uh, type Casting is inherently unsafe because we saw we can convert from char star to int star, int star to char star, int to pointer and so on. And we can also convert from one class pointer to some different different class which is not related to this class at all. And so we can, this reinterpret uh, cast allows such conversions. So that's why it's very unsafe. And the result of reinterpret cast cannot be safely used for anything other than being cast back to its original type. Other uses are 
at best non portable so this these are also not portable so let's see the example of this class conversion where we will take two non related classes so let's say we have class a and we have class b and let's add a few members to them so let's say it has x1 and x2 and then we define the constructor let's say x1 is 10 x2 is 20 and that's all and then we write a function to print a which will print x1 equal to x1 and x2 is equal to x2 similarly we can define for class b let's say it's, it has just a char and it's c and here it's print b and it will be c is equal to c and it has just one member variable now let's uh, create two objects one a so a we have already defined and then one b and then uh, we can create a pointer p a and then we convert this b object so we are passing the address of b which is of type class b and we are casting it to a pointer and similarly we do for pointer to b and here we pass address of a object and let's try to print that a has print a and b will have print b and let's run it so we see that it messes up the values we had so here a should be having 10 and 20 and B should be having A capital A but here it prints X1 65 and X2 is 0 so this 65 is possibly this uh, uh, A because A has a sky value of 65 and this X2 is some random value 0 and C is again some random value whereas if we do A dot print A and b dot print b then it will correctly print so here we see that it correctly prints 10 20 and a so this messes up the values but it permits such type of conversion converting a pointer of class a to class b and these are totally unrelated now let's uh, convert them back correctly and so now uh, let's say we have another pointers p a 1 and uh, here p b was actually pointing to an object of type a so let's pass p b here so now p b will be correctly converted to a pointer similarly b pointer p b 1 and we do reinterpret cast and convert it to b pointer and here p a was actually pointing to a b object and now again do p a 1 print a and p b 1 print b and now it should print correctly 
So we see that uh, for this part, we had wrongly casted them A into B and B into A. So they messed up the values. And here we have cast them back to their correct pointers. So here A star is pointing to PB, which was originally pointing to A. So now they are correct and they are correctly printing the values. So uh, if we cast them back, then it will be correct usage. Otherwise, it will be dangerous to use them. So these are very unsafe. And now we cannot cast away the const or volatile or unaligned attributes. So we saw that we can convert int star to char star, but we cannot do the conversion if one of them is const and we are converting them back to non-const. So for example, the same example here, AP is a const pointer to A and we try to do char star on this, so it will fail because it cannot remove the const attribute here. But this will pass because this is const char star and we are changing a const int star to it. So let's see this in the example. So let's say we have a const int pointer p3 and it's pointing to uh, this variable a1 and then we have a char pointer pcc and we do reinterpret cast on that. So it will not compile. It will say that uh, from const into char star casts away the qualifiers. But let's change it to const. So here also we need to change it to const. And now it correctly converts it back to const char star. So we cannot convert a const pointer to a non-const pointer. So that is not allowed. Similarly for other uh, attributes like uh, volatile and unaligned attributes. Now let's uh, see another example. So it can be useful, reinterpret cast can be useful when working with bits. So let's say we have a structure, a struct s. So it has two ints, one char and one bool. So it will have four bytes of for i1 and another 4 bytes for i2 and then 1 byte for this and 1 byte for bool. So 1 byte here for c and 1 byte for b and it will also occupy this space due to structural padding. So let's uh, see an example of how we can understand how reinterpret cast works in such cases. So let's define the same structure. Struct S and it has an int i1, int i2, char c and bool b. So total it will have 12 bytes. Now let's instantiate that s dot i1 equal to 10 s dot i2 is equal to 20 s dot c is equal to a and s dot b is equal to true now we can uh, create a int pointer so we have an int pointer pointer to structure and we can cast this structure to that int pointer. So we pass the address of S. So now what will happen? So we have this or we can see here. So we have this uh, this structure in memory. Total it has 12 bytes. So now if we have an integer pointer. So now this integer pointer will be pointing here. And it will just think that it has control over this part of the memory. And we see that uh, this part of the memory was occupied by this integer i1. So if we we have this in, int pointer ps and if we print it, it should print the value of i1. So let's uh, run it and let's 
print ps. So we see that it prints 10 and we had assigned i1 as 10. Now we can do ps++. So ps is still integer pointer. So when we do ps++, this pointer moves here because it thinks it's integer pointer. So we, it will advance by whatever is the size of integer. So now it comes here and it's pointing to the beginning of i2 and it's still an integer pointer. So it thinks that it, it has control over this part of the memory. It's pointing to this part. So when we print now, it should print the value of i2. So let's again print out ps. So it should print 20. So we see that it prints 20. But if we do plus plus again, it will come here, which will be the beginning of this character. So we can do plus plus and then if we print it, it will print this whatever bit patterns are stored in this complete part here, this thing. But we don't want that. Just first one byte is occupied by C and next one by bool and the others are not of concern to us. So after advancing it here, PS, we need to cast it back to a character pointer. So let's advance this PS and then cast it to a character pointer. and then print it. So it correctly prints A and now if we advance it, since it's a character pointer, it will advance by one byte and it will reach the beginning of B. Then we can, after advancing, we can cast it to a bool pointer and print the value of B. So let's do that. So we will again advance this PSC and then let's create a pointer PSB which will be a bool pointer. And then print it. So it should print one because we had added true here. Uh, sorry, it should be bool. So it prints one here because we had added true. So if we do it false then and run the same code, it prints zero for false. So this way we have uh, working in bits and we are trying, we understand what's the memory structure and then using the reinterpret cast to access the different elements. So I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.